Good morning everyone or good afternoon wherever you are located. My name is Stefan, I am CTO and co-founder of Unibright and today uh, I want to present uh, the baseline protocol Ethereum for enterprises with the help of Unibright. Um, so the baseline protocol um, is an open source protocol for secure and private business processes via public Ethereum mainnet and uh, it's an open source initiative that has been uh, founded by Microsoft, Consensus and EY and uh, they developed some very exciting stuff over the last months and years, uh, spent millions on the initial development and now are donating the current state of the development uh, to an open source initiative under uh, the Oasis Foundation and among the uh, about 10 to uh, 14 uh, founding members, uh, Unibright is also a part of it uh, and we are very happy about it and we want to explain you why. Um, if you take a look at Unibright, our main mission is to bring blockchain closer to enterprises. We do this with uh, uh, our, our verticals, uh, for example the solution vertical where we offer workshops and consulting services to explain um, enterprises what benefits blockchain brings and um, how they can use it for their own business processes and of course our, our main vertical the Unibright framework an integration framework with a no coding approach where you can define business processes visually uh, then generate smart contracts automatically and also connect, uh, connect them to off-chain systems and uh, when we are talking to, to enterprises, it's all about adoption. There are some major concerns that enterprises still have when it comes to using uh, blockchain. And besides understanding what blockchain can do, it's always about the three P, um, privacy, permission and performance. These are the major concerns that enterprises uh, have these days when it comes to using a public blockchain for business processes. So the privacy uh, issue is that they are just concerned of putting sensitive data on chain that might be uh, pseudonymized but still available to the complete world. Um, it's about permission, so who is allowed to uh, be part of my process, who is allowed to track my data, to see my data or to add additional data to my process. And of course it's about performance, so this is the, the major misunderstanding uh, in, in our feeling from, from Unibright's perspective that still many enterprises see blockchain just as a, dis a distributed database and then they compare performance from um, a classic traditional database system on a big scaled server, centralized server to a public blockchain. And the great thing about the baseline protocol is that it solves all these issues for enterprises and uh, offers a protocol for secure and private business processes via the public Ethereum blockchain. Uh, from now on we will refer to the public available Ethereum blockchain in this context as the Ethereum mainnet. So it is the same Ethereum that all of us know, uh, that where tokens live, where smart contracts live. And the major improvement um, of the baseline protocol is that it understands the mainnet as middleware. So this is a different thinking approach. Uh, it's not a distributed database, it's not a world computer uh, utilizing smart contracts. It still is all that, but it is middleware because that is what the mainnet is uh, best at. It's always on, it's available, it's unrestricted, everybody can participate. You, if you use it, you pay per use with, with gas costs that you uh, need for the, for the blockchain. And um, the idea of the baseline protocol is to establish a protocol that companies like Unibright can build their products upon. And the idea is to have many um, locally private networks interacting also with the off-chain systems they are called systems of record in this context, for example an SAP system or other ERP or CRM systems and uh, using the mainnet as a common frame of reference. So every time a business process or a state of a business process changes in a private network, the public available Ethereum mainnet is used as middleware to synchronize the states and to build a common frame of reference. 
For us, it is very important to be part of this initiative from the very beginning because, um, as I said, it's open source. So we can actively contribute to building standards that all enterprises uh, will be able to use. And at the same time, build the protocol in a way um, that our products can be developed alongside. So, for example, um, the Unibright connector, one of our major, uh, major products, is all about integrating off-chain systems uh, to, to blockchain. And the baseline protocol will be a huge enabler to do so and to build on standards and not having to do anything from scratch for uh, each new client. Technically, um, all uh, about baseline is built around microservices. It's a microservice architecture. So in this example, you see two microservices. This could be two different companies, both running their own microservice architecture uh, consisting of four um, components. The baseline API, which is the main gateway to communicate between different microservices and using the mainnet and registrar contracts on the mainnet as a, a common frame of reference. And then you have a, a queuing system, you have a, a messaging service where you can uh, communicate to other microservices apart from the business process. And um, you have zero knowledge proofs, so a component that uh, builds trustful states of whatever business data, coding. There will be a lot of work to do within the protocol and also with the products using it. Um, but these are the components that are defining um, baseline microservice right now. And for Unibride, it's quite easy to see uh, where there's potential um, to use that protocol and to build our products around it. So for example, the Unibride framework, as I mentioned before, um, has the connector component. So every time uh, a company will run a microservice, a baseline microservice, they will have off-chain systems that have to be connected to that microservice. And this is where the Unibright connector can, uh, based on this standard, directly build templates for connecting to, say, SAP and um, other systems of record. And uh, this holds true for every participant in such a baseline network. Uh, all of them can use the Unibright connector to connect to their systems of record. Uh, on the mainnet, we have uh, within the baseline protocol a definition of uh, new smart contract types, interfaces, the registrar contracts, and of course, with the no coding approach of the framework, of the Unibright framework, you can directly uh, create all the contracts that you need to uh, make your own baseline process up and running. The baseline protocol uh, is explicitly made for tokenization processes. So it supports uh, tokenization and de decentralized financial services. So exactly the same scope that we've been tackling with our vertical Unibright uh, Frequity uh, starting like 14 months ago. Um, we are offering liquidity solutions, custodian solutions, and see the complete tokenization process as a 360 degree approach and not isolated from each other. So the complete baseline protocol will also be a technical enabler for all these um, tokenization services. And of course, uh, for Unibright being part of the, the baseline protocol from the very beginning, also with the um, EA task force on integration, eminent, uh, and the use case task forces uh, where Unibright is uh, both part of, um, will bring us in the position to, to offer even more uh, workshops and educating for all the um, inter interested parties and enterprises that want to make use of that new Ethereum for enterprises. The first weeks and months we will mainly deal with the open source part of um, the baseline protocol. So Unibright will contribute uh, to the, the microservice architecture, provide coding and help to build the protocol standard uh, so that we can build uh, and adapt our products to it. All the Unibright products will still work as they're working now. So you can still, of course, use the framework to generate smart contracts on, that are running on a public um, Ethereum. Um, but now we also have the, the missing link that we have uh, been waiting for to bring enterprises closer to using blockchain and the mainnet 
and uh, without dealing with the argument uh, of privacy, permission and performance anymore. There is a lot of material to come. There will be a lot of blog posts from our participants and also proof of concepts and demos. So uh, we also published a first explainer a blog on our uh, Unibright.io website, giving uh, an overview about the uh, key features and um, how the architecture works. So we all invite you to uh, yeah, visit our website, visit our Medium blog and our uh, community channels and stay connected for the future development of the baseline protocol. Thank you.